Is it cool if the instrumental is like very loud and weird? Yeah. So you have a website, and I love the title of your website, violinscratches.com. Yeah. And on that, I noticed the disability survey. Do you mind talking about the genetic condition and what that survey is all about and wh what you're up to with it? Yeah. Um, well, I have a disability called um, osteogenesis imperfecta. It's brittle bones disease. And so before I was born, I broke a bunch of bones in utero, so my arms and legs kind of healed uh, crooked, I guess. And so I've used a wheelchair ever since I was, like, two years old. The next thing I want to do is write a book about um, kind of a memoir, but interweave ideas of living with a disability in America, but I didn't want to just give my viewpoint. Mm -hmm. And so I created a survey three years ago, I think, and it's just kind of ongoing. It's just so that I can like base what I'm saying on like a little bit more of a collective experience. So if you have a disability and you want to take it, uh, my website's violinscratches.com and you can click on the survey people just have all these assumptions about disability and sexuality, but um, even though that's kind of disappointing or disheartening growing up as a kid, because you feel like, oh, I'll never find anyone or I'm not desirable, all of a sudden, if you realize, well, actually, I'm fine the way I am, um, it's the standards that are really set up um, not to help people so much as to make people feel insecure so that they like buy cosmetics or mm -hmm. enter into a weight loss plan or join a gym. What gave you the courage to make your own way? Well, actually, I do remember what it was. I had a friend from elementary school die of cancer pretty suddenly. He got sick, and then, like, three months later, he was gone. And I started thinking, like, you know how everyone says, what would you do on your last day of Earth? Well, you'd probably eat a ton of chocolate and, like, hug your loved ones. But what would you do on your last five years on Earth, right? Mm -hmm. Like, life is not going to last forever. And, like, do you really want to spend the years that you do have doing something you just aren't passionate about? The message of beauty in our culture is I, it's just a fake standard. I mean, really, it's set up for a reason, and that reason is to get people to buy stuff. Right. And so when you realize that the whole thing's kind of a scam anyways, <laughs> um, then you can just be yourself. And it was a very freeing realization. And shortly after that, I actually ended up having my first boyfriend and then eventually I met my husband. And, um, and you know, like, it hasn't been an issue for me since because mm -hmm. I just decided that I was fine with the way I was. 